What's cracking? What's cracking? It's the People's Champ. Y'all already know what it is. I'm in Marietta, California once again. In today's video, I'm about to give y'all some of them big arms. Show y'all how to get some biceps and triceps. Because there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to do triceps and don't even have triceps. So I'm going to show y'all how to get them. Alright y'all, so we up in the sauna right now. Get nice, warm, heated. I know I've seen a lot of replies. People are like, why would you heat up before you go out there and work out and put your shirt and your sweater on? Because you have to still, it's best to warm up and stretch your muscles. So when we leave up out of here, I'm gonna show you how to stretch. Now today, we're gonna do all incline. All incline. But not for chest. We're gonna do it for arms. We gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can do your biceps and your triceps on the incline bench. And hopefully, y'all can um, learn some of the techniques from what I do. We're gonna implement some spider curls. We're gonna implement some uh, skull crushers with the barbell. We're gonna do some one arm skull kickouts with the dumbbells. We're gonna do some seated incline curls with the dumbbells. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Everybody out there that's been on uh, rocking with us with the Alpha Liquids, I really greatly appreciate you guys. Love each and every last one of you guys. Even love the ones that's going in there, putting in the basket, not going all the way through with it because y'all not trusting the um, the um, Cash App. is is legit. The Cash App is what it is because the processor has been giving us major problems but it's gonna get fixed. Gonna bring you guys um, more different avenues where you can use Yazelle, um, Quad Pay and everything so y'all can feel a little more comfortable. So y'all get some more of these gangs. So like I told you guys, the uh, previous video, I'm all on the shred stack. So I'm focused on getting shredded right now because we just leaving from spring transitioning into summer. So you want the mass, baby. You want all of that. You want all of that the obliques and the abdominals. And of course, you want them arms. Hey. Right, the first exercise is about to be skull crushers on the incline bench, as you can see. We at the incline, we're about to do arms. Now what that's gonna do, is gonna get the triceps fully activated so we can get the top head and the bottom head and the inside head with the skull crushers. Let's get to it. It's almost t-shirt time, y'all. One more, it's t-shirt time. Bam! Alright now, so I'm gonna let y'all know why I do triceps first. The reason why I like to do triceps is because you want to put all the blood in the back of the arm because if you put all the blood in the front of the arm to try to do the back of the arm, you're liable to pull your bicep. You can irritate it or you can, you can actually tear it. So it's always best to start off with the back of the muscle because believe it or not, this muscle is actually bigger than this muscle. So our next movement is gonna be kickouts on the incline. But gym etiquette, I gotta go take the weights back. Yeah. So I'm about to go get me some dumbbells. I'm thinking about grabbing the pink ones because I'm against that cancer, baby. Not only that, and pink look good. It's also to, you know, let the women know that Mack Truck got a sensitive side as well. We're gonna start off with something light. We're gonna start off with some 30s. Now, if you guys feel any tension in the elbow, and your elbow is sore, get you some elbow sleeves and ice your elbows. It always helps me out when I have tendonitis in the elbow or whatnot. It speed up my healing process extremely fast than just trying to heal naturally because that can take you months versus healing in a matter of weeks. You know, I guess it's t-shirt time. You want to kick it up from your knee. 
Don't just get the dumbbell and raise it up and go back. Be smart about it so you can save yourself from little minor tweaks and tears and injuries by getting the weight up off of you. Smooth. count my reps so what I do each arm is gonna get what it's gonna get on its own so long I can take each arm right before failure I already hit my mark one arm might take 17 reps my next arm might only take 15 to 16 so I let my body do what it want to do I don't lead my body I let my body lead me <laughs> but in front of your head instead of behind your head and you keep your rep range really short you don't fully extend the only way you fully extend if you have short arms those with short arms fully extend long arms short repetitions short range of motion i mean the shorter the range of the motion the more the blood flow the more the fibers break down the more it want to repair itself because the, the body starts thinking that it's injured in a positive way though not a negative way don't go there and tear the muscle off the bone so i'm about to go get a barbell curl bar and I'm about to show you guys how it really goes down. Stay drunk, baby. Uh, what you do, you gotta kick off. This time I want you to kick off with both legs, kind of like a donkey kick to where you just get the weight going. And then remember I told you, short range of motion in front of the head, not behind the head, skull crusher. What it's gonna do is gonna target the triceps. And it'll get a little bit of your own um, pector major. So pec to majors what mac truck know about that word anyway you get your pecs and your chest engaged too yep and you want your elbows to stay tucked by that way you're keeping it on the tricep and you you're taking it out of the chest because you ain't doing none of this. We ain't doing this. You, you doing this. This all we doing right here. None of this. So the chest is not really getting much of a workout, but it's still getting a little. So I don't want you to be like, well, I feel it in my chest, Mac. I don't give a hell if you felt it in your ass, Mac. Anywho, let's go to the next one. All right, so now we about to start going to the biceps. We done with the triceps and we're gonna go to the biceps. I wanna start off with some spider curls. Right now we got a 70 pound right here. All we're gonna do is move it around to the front of the bench. We're gonna start with the spider curls on the incline. And by us being on the incline with our chest right there, we have no other choice but to keep our shoulders out of being engaged with curling. Because normally when we curl, our front delts is activated. On the incline, we have no other choice but to use the bicep. So let's get to it. And that's how you get that. Boom! I know y'all like, what's that tattoo on your arm? It's a teddy bear with a ripped arm holding some balloons. A couple of mushrooms, pills, star smoking a doobie, shit like that. Mac Truck used to be a stoner. Pill popping mushroom, eating alcohol, drinking motherfucker. Now we cooking, baby. You just finished the spider curls with the barbell, so now I wanna do the incline curls with some dumbbells. So I'm about to go back to the pink dumbbells for all the women that know that my truck do have a sensitive side. I am in an empath. 
You know, you know what an empath is. That's a person that feels everybody's emotions, everybody's energy. So I'm always all over the place if I'm in a crowd too long. So right now I'm trying to speed it up because as you can see, the gym's starting to get crowded and I don't want to suck in no more of this energy. Got my dumbbells now. So what we're going to do, okay, I need to lean this bench up a little more because you don't want it to be at the same level that you did spider curl. So if you do spider curls first going into this one, you don't want to lead a bench down so you want to click it up to a higher incline like you about to do some incline press. Have it at a nice level to where that your biceps can be engaged because your biceps going to hang and you're going to lock. It's a very awkward movement, very awkward. You're not going to really see nobody in the gym doing it, but trust me, when you do it, when you do it right, you get the thickness in the biceps. Oh. Now, if a lot of you out there like me with small ass wrists, get you some wrist straps so you can have more support because I have baby gear Bambi wrists. As you can see, I can lock my whole freaking fingers to connect with my wrists. I have small wrists, my joints are small. So with doing this exercise, you can, it's a possibility that you can feel it in the wrist. So get you some wrist wraps. And if it's um, too much pain, go lighter, go lighter, go lighter, all right? It's in there like ragu. King Kong. All right, all right, so look, we're coming into the last stretch. We on a home stretch and everything, last movement. So what we gonna do, we about to hit the brachialis, we about to hit the forearms. You want the forearms and the brachialis hit. So what, is, what it is, is it's on the incline still. We're gonna lean back, we're gonna go straight up and down, hammer, hammer curls on the incline, straight up and down, not across the chest, not twisting at the top, because we wanna keep the bicep out of it. We wanna focus solely on brachialis, and forearms. So I'm about to show y'all how it's going down. Boy, yeah. We working now, we cooking. It's the last stretch. I hope a lot of y'all take advantage of this max stack and the shred stack. Cause with those two back to back, I'm telling you, that's my word. I promise y'all if y'all do everything right. So look, what I'm doing is, me, myself, I'm taking advantage of a shred stack and a max stack back to back. I did the max stack for three months. I'm on a shred stack now, I'm going into one month. I'm gonna give it another two more months. I also gave my body four week rest. By that way, it gave my body to balance back out. Now, I'm about to see what's happening because we can see right now, y'all. We can see right now, Mac truck is getting shredded and he still have a lot of muscle, so. So look, I just took y'all through a nice arm workout. I gotta get up out of here right now. I gotta go to the paint shop, drop off some motorcycle parts. So until then, y'all stay thirsty, my friends.